My body wants more sleep, but my pockets want more money. Does that sound familiar to any of you? I know for me as a business owner, it did. And for you, a lot of you, it does too. Hi, I'm Jolly, host of The Jolly Abraham Show, and I help high-powered women flourish in eight specific areas of their life. Today, I am talking about financial health, specifically about money. Now, I got a question from a viewer. She's a high-powered woman, and she says this. Her name's Stacy from Wisconsin, and she asks, I think most women, even high powered women, feel that chasing money will make life better over having time with family or taking care of your health or spiritual well being. When will someone have enough money? Stacy, that's such a great question. And I want to answer that question, but before I do, I feel like it's important to answer another question, which is why do women leaders, why do uh, women in general want to be rich? And I came up with three reasons why I think that we want to be rich uh, based on how I felt and the experiences of others. Number one, we want to do the things that we want to do and go the places that we want to go. I mean, come on, money gives us options, right? We want, uh, to go on really nice vacations, lavish, lavish vacations. We want our kids in private school. We want to wear nice clothes. Come on, um, have nice purses, shoes. We want to live in a really nice house in a nice neighborhood on the nice in the nice part of town. Uh, we may want uh, to afford the uh, guilty pleasures that we have in life, right? It could be Starbucks, eyelashes, Botox, um, hair extensions, whatever, whatever it may be, we like to afford our hobbies. Uh, we also like to invest, right? We want to be rich because we want to invest in things to hand down to our children and their children, right? So whether it's real estate, whether it is Bitcoin, uh, stocks, uh, we love or other businesses, we want to invest in things. And that's one of the reasons why we want to be rich, right? Another reason why we want to be rich is guess what society approves us and it condones it the american culture condones chasing after the dollar the american dollar right so why not everybody to the left and to the right is uh, is doing it so it's not so bad right if everybody else is doing it why can't i do it too so I know that may be hard present. That's why a lot of people, um, you know, want to get rich because everybody's doing it. You know, another reason why women tend to want to be rich is because we think that it is actually going to make us happy and help solve our problems. Don't get me wrong. Money does give us options, but it does not make us happy. It does not... Uh, it does not solve our problem. So what's wrong with that, Jolly? Like, who cares? I wanna be rich, leave me alone. I want to not just survive in my life, I wanna thrive, right? Isn't that what God wants? What's wrong with wanting the things that money affords us? And, you know, the truth is there is nothing wrong with wanting the things, right? God actually calls it good. He says it's awesome. He loves when we dream big and we have incredible vision for ourselves, for our families. And he actually calls it good. But the problem is, is not wanting to be rich. The problem is, is when we chase the riches. The problem is, is when we start chasing money. That's the problem. Why? Because we start focusing in on the things. We start narrowing our vision. We start getting tunnel visioned and so laser focused on the goal, which is what? The better car, the nicer house, the uh, private schools, the real estate investments. We start thinking and, and getting so hard pressed on the thing that we lose sight of everything else, ladies. We lose sight of everything else, ladies, and we miss out on life. I am talking from experience, okay? In my own life, in my business, I was so hard-pressed 
on reaching the goal. I wanted to make X number of dollars in year one. In year two, I had to make more. In year three, I had to make so much more. And all the while that I was doing that, I was missing out on life. Three things that I want to go over specifically that you miss out on when you chase money women are authentic relationships and experiences. You know what? The vacations that you should be going on with your husband, whether it's an anniversary trip or date night, you know, the family vacations with your children the memories that you're supposed to be creating with them, having campfires or um, letting, you know, having maybe sleepovers, you know, at the house, um, having overnight trips, whatever it may be with the people that God has put in your life. It's very important that you um, you don't want to miss out on those relationships. You don't want to miss out on those experiences because your kids are only a certain time uh, or only a certain age for so long. And not only that, another thing that you miss out on is your, um, is you not taking care of yourself. When you are so hard pressed and so laser focused on chasing money, guess what? You will begin to burn out. You will be drained emotionally, mentally, physically, spiritually, that you will, you will drain and lose all your energy. You will have nothing left and you will begin to live life. You will begin to think tired is the new normal. And my friends, I'm telling you, that's not the case. The last thing you will miss out on is finding your true purpose in life. Guys, when you are so focused on the things, you're so focused on getting the next thing. And after you've attained that, you want to get the next thing, whether it is, hey, I built one business and now I want to franchise it. I built this thing. Now I want to replicate it. You know, we're so busy chasing the next thing that we lose sight. We miss out on our actual true purpose. And your true purpose is, what is that? That is your gifts that God has given you. It is your true purpose is linked to your passions in life. It is linked to your calling and your assignment. And I've done another video uh, about that and we'll put the link above the seven powerful tips every woman should know. But in that video, I talk about your gifts and, um, and that's linked to your true purpose. Your true purpose is what you were created on this earth to do. And it's not something that you go out and find like a like gold. It is something that you unearth and uncover because it's already inside of you. But the problem is, is when you are so focused on finding the next thing, you will never, ever, uh, you will never get busy finding your true purpose because you are chasing money. You are chasing success. To go back to Stacy's question, when will someone have enough money? Stacy, the answer is never. If you are chasing money, you will never, it will never be enough. But if you decide today that, you know what, I've chased money long enough and it's not getting me anywhere. It's not getting me closer to my goals. It's not uh, making me more successful. Actually, the opposite is happening. My family is in disarray. I'm not anywhere closer to my goals than where I thought I'd be. If you're saying those things, I would encourage you to consider redirecting yourself, pivoting, and asking God, God, where have I gone wrong? You know, first of all, forgive me for chasing success. Forgive me for chasing the almighty dollar. And God, show me, show me where I've been missing the mark. Show me uh, what you want me to do. Show me my gifts, show me my passion and allow God to speak to you. And my friends, I'm telling you, he will. You know, Tony Shea, founder and CEO of Zappos says, chase the vision and not the money. And the money will end up chasing you. Well, friends, that's it from me today. Thank you so much for watching. Like, subscribe, and share this video with someone. And before I let you go, I'd like to ask you the same question that Stacy asked me. Do you think that chasing money will make your life better? If yes, hey, that's legit. Tell me why. And if no, tell me why also. All right, guys, see you in the next video.